And I can kind of get the Moonlighter comparison, but Moonlighter was constantly going into... Ow. Moonlighter, you were constantly going into little sub-dungeons and stuff. Well, no, you were constantly going into the sub-dungeons as the only gameplay. This one does like a little bit out and about, but I guess the only difference is just setting. This feels better though. It lacks the uh it lacks the weapon variety, but the gameplay is much tighter. Moonlighter always felt like I was just kind of tanking hits after a certain point and just relying on healing potions to keep me going. And that never felt very good. And admittedly, that is partly, like, skill, I guess? But, like, I don't know. I feel like I'm doing relatively well with this game, comparatively. Please don't be the dark one. Oh, it's this. Okay. Okay, there he goes. It looks like there might be more to this place, but I might not be able to get to it. What the? Uh, methinks the textures here glitched the... Glitched out like crazy, actually. Whoops. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. That chest just showed up in a weird place. And then I looked at the background, and I'm like, hmm. Something about this place just ain't right. Well, whatever. We found a wrong war warp zone, but I'm not going to try and test my luck with it. I'm not nearly confident in my abilities for that. Oh, it did get me. Damn it. <laughs> Awkward angles. Water, why do you break everything? I'm a human bug magnet, alright? It's just hard-coded. Ow! Double ow. Well, I will boss occasional eventually. Yeah, okay, so what is this? Wingnut magnetizer. Spark light and widgets. Hmm. I could. I could also save up for that. I'm gonna grab these though. These seem to be perma uh unique upgrades, and grabbing them seems like it's worthwhile. Okay. Would there be anything? Because honestly, I don't actually need him to go grab stuff for me. Not really. I'm just probably going to beeline for the forest if I can get it. The extra widgets are nice, but, like, we need to make most of our progress up in the... Hey! This is a convenient location. We need to make most of our progress over here. Everything else just gets me cash. When you die, do you lose everything in your inventory? You lose all of the temporary items you picked up, the widgets. Widgets are inherently temporary and for the most part they're nope they're not even like that useful the healing ones are but i was out of those then other than that it's just like bombs and en energy packs which like okay bit of a loss but not not enough to make me be like why but it's not like binding of isaac for example where you start over very much to get to keep your stuff. Wow. This is diggy spots left and right. I don't know if that had spark light in it or if it just had nothing. Well. Probably just had spark lights in it. We. Okay. One problem is... Still don't know where any of this stuff is. Ooh. 
Oops. Okay, there we go. I wonder if there's a dash attack for this game that we could get. Does that make a big difference? What the? What? Why are my controls all back? Oh, I got confused by something. What? How? I don't know. I guess I got hit by the, uh, that one thing's shot. Ooh, relief to see you. Po Poku wandered off again. Track him down. The usual medallion. So he went back to the Vinelands. Oh. Uh. Oh! Shit, little green guys are zippy. Well, didn't matter. We're all good. So yeah, Pogo went back to the Vinelands. I could go back there. I... Ugh. I just want to explore this forest, man. Stop sending me back. Okay. Uh, I should probably keep breaking these bushes. I don't know where you get the, the power-ups on this map specifically. Looks like it's mostly just chests and then nowhere? Oh. Give me your loot. You have no loot for me. Oh! Well, if we have to go back down that center line, we'll go... We'll go back to the Vinelands for a bit. Probably as good of a place in, as any to get my HP back anyway. We'll blast that open, and it did in fact have a thing in it. Yeah. Get the goods, and then fall, and then... Oh, it's just this one. Ow. It's this one with crumbling platforms, but that's not actually that big of a deal. Okay, there we go. This forest is a lot bigger than the Vinelands. A lot bigger. Oh, what about the farting flowers? No. Farting flowers don't seem to have pickups in them either. Okay, so it takes exactly six hits to kill those guys. Now, I found likely where the boss is. Might not be a bad idea for me to go for it. You have HP for me? He did and he didn't. Alt question. If it doesn't... Oh no, it, it closes on me, so I'm locked in. Well... We're just doing it live! Onwards and I believe in myself words. Now let me guess. It's... This guy. Okay, so I fought this guy before. He's hard. Ah, uh, I'm probably in trouble. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, can't get that one. I am down to my last HP already. I have beaten him. Okay, there we go. What? At least he's got a very clearly defined pattern. At least currently. There's just the question of clearly defined pattern might not necessarily be safe for survival. Okay, go for that. 
Yeah, that's the problem. This is a really long fight. Yup, he's, he's not easy. The main problem is I think I need a dash distance booster. Uh, the first one isn't so bad. But the second hit is rough. Okay. Uh... And we'll go down. Is this a new roguelike? Yup. Is a new roguelike. Pretty good. Uh, let's see. We're gonna be stuck here for a little while. Let's see. Is it more like the AoE is instant? Not like it spe spreads out? It spreads out. It just spreads out very fast. Let's see. Having a couple of healing items or something would be handy going into that, but honestly, yep. Okay, so I can't... I can't knock these guys out of their hole. That was worth a shot. Let's see, how long have we been going on this one? A little over two hours? Like, a little over two hours. I'll probably go for a little while longer. I want to beat that boss before I stop. And then I'll probably do more of this tomorrow. For a moment, I had, like... A slight inkling that, hey, maybe I'll actually be able to beat this in, like, two sittings or something. But no. The later levels get a lot harder than... ...than the vine area, so... ...that ain't happening. But that's okay. Cause I'm, I don't actually need to beat this anytime soon. Well, I mean, I do. The faster I beat games, generally the better it is for me. At a meeting with my... my network uh, manager, because I recently switched networks on YouTube, and she was like, yeah, so you should mostly just do kind of like one-off things, because that's that's how you get like shit tons of views, clearly. And I'm just like, you're not wrong, but like, I don't want to do that. I want to like play games. <laughs> There's this like stupidly pain painful metric every, every single time I put out a sequential episode where it's like, yeah, yeah. You lost about 10% of your audience. It's like 50% and then 10% there at uh thereafter. After the first episode. There's a couple of series that carry it over, but most of the time, you yep. Don't look like we got any digging spots. Not that I really expected any. Hey, we can finally get in here, but first we should check this out. Let's see. The streamers and YouTubers are those that have fun anyway. It's true. It's just... <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I can I can fly the balloon into this thing. The problem is the, like, just have fun anyway thing. Well, it kind of works. It doesn't pay the bills always. Uh, I have a... I have a buddy, uh, Kakujo, who started putting out videos again. Hey, bronze defense patch. That'll be helpful. Uh... But he started putting out videos again, but he was specifically known for uh, Nuclear Throne. Partly because he's damn good at it, and partly because he's entertaining. And the problem is, uh, so he's been putting videos out just in general on YouTube, but also videos on Nuclear Throne. And the sheer disparity of views is, oh, you know what, I, I have enough bomb things I can just start blasting through most rocks. Oh, that's, that's the wrong button. This is the right button. Kablamo! Give me the goods. Oh, that's a bird. Uh, but yeah, the sheer disparity between one series and not for him is, is actually kind of dismal. Because it's just like, well, you say play what you want, but that's clearly <laughs> not what people are up for. That's, I don't know. I'm lucky. I get to play mostly whatever I want. Luckily, whatever I want is just new and interesting, and as long as it's new and interesting, people will stick around, which is good, because that means I can just kind of cycle through stuff like Sparklight and Superliminal and Bumbo and whatnot, and then eventually be like, this game bores me, I move on. And, like, it has yet to... That has yet to backfire on me. As long as I don't get stuck in scrap mechanic land again. Oh, those were bad days. 
I mean, it was a fun game, don't get me wrong. Just like... Playing one series for like 400 episodes is not healthy. For a channel or a mind. Because then, then you just get boring. Well, maybe. I don't know. I was still having fun with it. It was definitely one of those where it's just like... Ooh, bunch of spark light. 50! What a find. I will take that gladly. And now if I go back, I can upgrade the medical bay and get more patches. And now that I keep finding those uh, defense patches, we might actually be able to tank. Because yeah, if that if that bot only or that bot that boss only does a quarter of a heart and damage every single time it hits me, that's uh that's a fair bit easier than doing like a full full HP ammo. Ooh, that's a new one. Bigger boost. Oh, gives you bonus damage. That'd be kind of good. Let's see, I remember the days where it got so demanded you had to have it banned in chat. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Scrap Mechanic, it's still banned it on, uh, like I've still got the, the word Scrap Mechanic banned on YouTube. I don't know about Twitch. I think Twitch, I, I relaxed it, but I could be wrong. If somebody wants to say Scrap, you'll probably get timed out, but at least we'll find out. But yeah, I, I still get people demanding it. It's like, where's scrap mechanics? It's like, my god, I haven't played that game in like three years now. Oh, it's not anymore. That's probably for the best. Oh, shit, I actually got hit there. This is why maining the hammer is not good. Not good, you hear me, pig man. Not good at all. All right. You got any health for that? I did actually get some health for that. Yes. Yes. Also, thank you, AJ Buddy, for the 18 month resub. How are you doing this fine and lovely, fine and toasty evening? I I actually had to stand up. Uh, uh, I actually had to stand up because I am I am overheating really badly. I think this is my least favorite chest in the game, and will remain as such, as it involves the falling pits, and I suck at those. This is my favorite chest. You just walk in, there's there's some nice trees nearby. There's no there's no anything else. I don't know. Bang out. But yeah, I, I still have it banned on the YouTube side because I still get people bopping by to ask. I also have a bunch of other specific terms that are banned. Like snowflake. Because boy, you get real sick of being called a snowflake over and over again. I think that's my least favorite derogatory insult that has shown up recently. Because it's just... I like snowflakes. I don't want to have to, like, hate the word now that uh, jerkwads have picked it up. And boy, it's like their fav favorite insult. Uh, let's see. Also, I don't know. The, the connotations of being overly sensitive is kind of annoying to me, because if, if anything, I feel like the world should be slightly more sensitive. Maybe not for their own self, but like other people? I don't know. Okay, grab that, and we're good. Like, empathy should never, ever be considered a sign of weakness or, like, a negative trait for anyone. And, boy howdy, people have absolutely assumed, uh, made it that it's like, I'm out for me and me alone. No one else, the rest of y'all are snowflakes for suggesting otherwise. Protect the environment, that's stupid. Protect my wallet, nothing more. I get upset about these things. I've been playing way too many games uh, focused on, like, corporate interests. Like, I've been playing, uh... I've... I haven't been... Ow! I forgot to dodge. I've been playing the double whammy of Disco Elysium and... Uh... Disco Elysium and... 
Got a dodge. Don't get hit by that. Okay. Uh, Disco Elysium and Outer Worlds back to back, more or less, uh, and, and playing them just off stream. So that's what I was doing earlier today. And those games make me real com uncomfortable. I was I was reading. Uh, I spent like nearly 15 minutes reading performance review reviews of random NPCs. And it's very clearly, like, this stupid parody, but, like, uh, I was on a colony where, uh, you could only eat approved foods from the corporation, and one of them was, like, uh, you had to only eat purple berry crunch. Uh, which, like, okay, fine, kind of whatever, but one of the characters is like, I'm allergic to this, and this is the only thing you're feeding it to us for a month. Like, I... Uh... If I eat your damn, like, required food, I will die. And the response was like, Your refusal to follow company policy has been noted, and, uh, your pay has been summarily docked or something like that. I'm like, oh my god. That's like the most terrifying future. We're just like, we have to appease corporations just to be able to live. I mean, that's kind of how it works. That's how you get and keep a job, but still terrifying. And then you have to appease them just so they don't kill you with their stupid policies. I mean, that's... that is still kind of a thing. I think they had another one where it was straight up just like... Uh, a character kept uh, filing for insurance claims because the... Uh, the band saws at their workplace kept cutting their fingers off. And eventually, uh, the first one was denied because it's like, they only lost one finger. That's not a crippling dif disability. And then after that, it was like, well, they lost more fingers, but that's a pre-existing condition. Uh. Still don't know how to do this one. I'm pretty sure there's another ability. The capitalism has its place. It's just finding the right balance. Yup. Oh, no, I, I definitely agree. It's just a fine system. It's just, you know, easily abused. But that's true of, like, almost everything. Uh, there's no point in doing this. Just like government systems and who knows what. It was really interesting being in Croatia uh, for a study abroad. Because there were a lot of people there that still really, really... Huh. Uh, really still missed the leadership of their old dictator. Uh, Tito? I think it was Tito. But the guy had apparently been a fairly benign dictator as far as dictators go. And everybody loved him and still loved him. And, you know, I'm sure he did bad things, but it was so interesting being there and having just tons of people that, yeah, missed the rule of a, of a dictator over whatever their current form of government was. It was Tito. Yeah, I thought so. Unfortunately, they didn't really teach much in, in our study abroad classes about the guy, so all I know is that he exists and people liked him. Yeah, propaganda does that. Yeah. I mean, from what little I heard, like, he actually was not terrible? But then again, like I said, they don't really teach about him in the history books, so my only account is that people liked him. I'm just going to ignore the bees. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Anything else? I'm down on HP and I didn't manage to accrue any healing items, which is a bit unfortunate. Oh, it's this one again. Stop, little green gooners. I could potentially just kill them over and over again for the extra spark light. But I don't think I really want that. The ultimate power corrupts, ultimately. Yeah, I wonder about that sometimes. Uh, I, not exactly in the same vein, but I, I have seen and known YouTubers that, like, really got rich fast, uh, or grew really quickly, and just how it, like, messes with their heads and turns them into a bad person. And I can only imagine it's the same thing with wealth or, you know, electric power or something like that. And I, I actually have a lot of respect for people that manage to keep it in check or do something good with it. Okay. 
not gonna attempt here. There we go. I'm getting the process down on fighting those guys. Let's bust this up, see if there's anything in it. Answer is hard no. Uh, do we have anything over here? Hoplite, Invigor Boost, or Timed Mine. Let's look grab the Timed Mine next. We've already got this one, so there's nothing else. People wanted George Washington to declare himself king. This was actually going through with democracy. Yeah! I'm glad he didn't. Because, like, from what I know, most monarchies usually crumble pretty damn fast. Okay. Ow. Ow. These stumps make it make for hard combat against those bees, but then again, also bad at, at dodging. But yeah, my assumption with George Washington and the reason why he refused, dude was probably just tired. Like, even if I was, like, a relatively uh, ambitious person, if I was off, it, like, if I was specifically uh, told, like, hey, we'd love for you to just be, like, king. I'd probably say no if only because, like, holy crap, I don't want to have to deal with that. Like, I have a hard enough time mentally and emotionally dealing with, like, well, I mean, okay, no, I'm, I'm overblowing it. It's, it's straining enough just to have, like, the internet yelling at me on a daily basis. And for the most part, like, most people are actually pretty damn kind. But there's, like, you know, 10% of the population that's just, like, a shithead. And, it's like, God, can you imagine if I was actually responsible for their livelihoods or their lives? Like, oh, boy. Uh, yeah, I'd probably... I'd probably just go power mad out of spite, if anything. I mean, I still have. Whoop. Like, uh... I mean, this isn't, like, a particularly... This isn't something I'm trying to hide. But I've I've actually been banning a whole lot of... A whole lot more people on YouTube lately. Uh, mainly because... You know, I'm tired of dealing with people that are just, like, intentionally toxic for no good reason. You've probably noticed me be a little bit more uh, heavy-handed with uh, Twitch as well. Ow, damn it. And... It's because negativity is not healthy, and so I've been specifically, you know, just removing more people because, like, I don't want to deal with it, and I don't want my moderators to have to deal with it. So, like, significantly less patience for that sort of thing. Uh, and it's been good for me. But, like, if I had to do that in a scale that wasn't just online entertainment, yeah, that would probably go badly. Okay. Do I want to go for the boss again? Heck, I'm not even sure if there's anything left. There's like one more section, maybe. Didn't get any health off of him, but I don't want to have to go back. So we're just going to fight him again, get some practice in. That's not to say that I'm, like, banning everybody that disagrees with me. It's usually, <laughs> to go back to the snowflake thing, it's almost always anybody that leads with a personal insult, or just includes a personal insult as part of their stuff. Yeah, I don't need that. The way I see it, if anybody... If it's... If somebody says something to me that I would, like, not be okay with them saying to me, like, to my face, that's usually the point where I'm like, mm, draw on the line here. Like, I've been... I've been lucky so far. I don't think I've ever had anybody call me uh, out. Oh, I get it. Okay, I think I can avoid that one reliably now. Let's avoid the saw, saw hands. But yeah, if I were... If I were put in a position where somebody was like actively just calling me a snowflake or, like, who knows what, uh, to my face, I'd probably just, like, get up and leave. Just be like, why am I here? Or if they're in my house, I'd probably tell them to leave. Oh, 
I'm like, yeah, that sort of, I guess, behavior has cost me friends lately. Yeah, it's that second hit. Ah, shit. Uh, let's see. And yeah, not quite. Getting the... Well, getting this will make a huge difference. I got close. All I need is this, I think. That's a lot more space. The extra energy would be nice. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Energy patch. I think these are all randomly generated, so I'm not going to go for them. I think the extra health would be handy. I mean... Obviously, I'll go with them a little bit. Seeing as I've got the space. I'd rather just have the extra HP here. Let's grab the Vineland's Explorer's Badge for the time being. I don't really need the max energy patch. It's one we buy now. Nah, oh, wait, hold up. Why is this 200? That just gives me a quarter heart. Huh. That's very expensive for just a little bit of extra HP. Oh, Sparklight. Pretty damn good, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs>